Yo, 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 it's your boy JJ continuing this Lords of the Fallen boss run. Right now we're taking on the champion. Need to dethrone this bad boy right now. And um, he's got a bunch of swipe attacks. You can see the the bladed gauntlets that he rolls with. You might have just seen the uh, rushing attack that he does. And he likes to hit you with that two piece as well. Hit you with those gauntlets. And I think that combo escalates ever so slightly a bit later on in the fight. But you'll know it when you see it. It's a fight that reminds me of fighting the Rhino in pretty much any Spider-Man video game that has come before now. Got a few melee attacks. You see there the ground pound which has a tracking effect, relatively easy to dodge if you stay on top of your game, keep it moving, the usual strategy in these games, you can see where it's going. A lot of the time I was rolling, I was probably exerting unnecessary stamina there just because it looked as if I could just walk parallel to the actual ground pound tracking attack and it would miss but you have to be careful in these games these games can decide to randomly chief you at any point so you don't really want to take a risk you'll see me taking a risk with those kind of attacks and lack of movement and getting cocky a little bit later on in the video but right now just avoiding that two piece it's got a decent recovery on it and when you're being careful one swipe move around them one swipe move around them again did you see that I was I got caught by that uh, ground pound there you see um, uh, the champion became infuriated there's now flames on those uh, bladed gauntlets probably increasing the damage that he does with the two piece there and probably the uh, charging attack and even though it doesn't do much damage um, catching him with that gauntlet attack uh, that projectile gauntlet attack for I think it was 64 damage because I wouldn't have been able to make up the distance in time um, and between these attacks or attempted attacks I think I have enough time for the projectile gauntlet move to recharge but for the most part he's brutish he's large telegraphs his moves quite obviously doesn't really mix it up too much um, the same strategy applies keep it moving Avoid that two piece. Watch for when the health bar is diminished. That, I don't know if you noticed that uppercut there, that becomes a more obvious part of his combo. Right now, for the most part, he's utilizing the same attacks as before. Quick two piece the uh, tracking attack and the the charging attack that you saw right there relatively easy to deal with as long as you don't get too cocky it can be handled relatively easily now as you can see where the health is probably means he's going to kick it into high gear at this point and there it is the gauntlets are on fire he's fully enraged now you see that the tracking attack is much faster. He's actually got blades that are on fire coming towards you, tracking much, much quicker. Um, seems to get the attacks off that little bit quicker as well. But as long as you are managing your stamina well enough, see there's a two piece with a biscuit now. You have to be aware of that one when he's enraged but it looks like he's calmed down a little bit caught me slipping there was able to just give me that little shoulder barge off of the charge attack two piece with a biscuit have to try avoiding that 
as delicious as it might be. It's it's dangerous. Stops my attacks in their tracks, so it's not like I can trade blows with him. And when you see that running stance get telegraphed, you need to keep it moving, especially if he's really close to you. That is the time when you need to be utilizing that role. There's the area of effect attack. Just get out of the way of that. It, I don't think it's too large of an area. Let's get out of the way of that. Run back in there if you've got enough stamina. Hit him one or two times. Probably just one. Keep it simple. Don't overdo it. Don't get cocky. Two piece with a biscuit. No problem. There's enough time for me to make a move there. See, I was relatively close to him. Don't think it did damage. If it did, it was negligible. There's a bit of a downward swipe. Some of those Paul Phoenix moves right there. Brutish. See, right there, that was me slipping. I was trying to get the projectile gauntlet ready. But I was obviously unprepared. I was mashing buttons there. And this might be a testament to my cockiness here. I try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him because I'm like, I, I can take him. This is like three, four more hits. But he's also dodging my moves. Two-piece with a biscuit. Fortunately, I was out of range for that one. Watching the stamina roll in, roll out. Not too close. Just stay just out of his out of his reach. Go in. He presents himself to me. See, I thought that would have been the finishing blow right there. Look how close I am to him. Again, I thought that was the finishing blow. And what did I do? I held that command grab. This is what happens when you get cocky folks in these kind of games. Look how close that is. Look how close that is. Do you know how many fights in these kind of games I've lost due to playing like that? And there it is. Champion, as I said before. Dethroned. I got that title now. And it's finished. Anyway, that's JJ. Lords of the Fallen boss run. Check the description. Check out all those guys in my description box. You've got no reason not to. And make sure you like and subscribe. Drop a comment as well. I don't mind. Anyway, this is your boy JJ signing out. Peace.